Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today let's talk about the all new Hero Zoom. The new Zoom is Hero's latest entrant into the hugely popular 110cc scooter segment. While the manufacturer already has the Mastro Edge 110 and Pleasure Plus in this segment. The Zoom is more sporty scooter that's being targeted at younger buyers. Let's take a look at what it has to offer. Overall, the Hero Zoom is an attractive looking scooter thanks to its angular styling. There is a plenty of cuts and creases all around, which make it appear quite contemporary. Up front, there is a large LED projector headlamp with Hero signature H-shaped LED daytime running lamp. Higher up, the halogen indicators are integrated into the handlebar cowl and there is a small fly screen as well. Along the sides, where we normally see a simple rounded off body panel in other scooter, in this segment, the Hero Zoom gets an angular design element that mimics a Fox Air Vents. The rear grab handle is also flush with the bodywork, which looks nice. Carrying on the theme of the headlight, it gets an H-shaped LED tile lamp as well. You have to credit Hero's design team as this is one of the best looking 110cc scooter on the market and one of the nicest Hero's design in a while. The Zoom is a very well equipped scooter. The range topping ZX variant we tested gets all the bells and whistles. Apart from the LED headlamp and tile lamp, Hero has given the Zoom a segment first feature in the form of a cornering lights. This feature makes use of a gyroscope and an accelerometer and depending on the lean angle, it lights up a small LED lamp in the fairing in the direction of which you are turning. While the feature did work well in a demo we got, we will have to wait and see how effective it actually is in a real world. Before continuing the video, I request you to please do like, support and subscribe the channel if you like the content. Other features on the Zoom include a digital instrument cluster, Bluetooth connectivity, alloy wheels and USB charging port, although the placement of the port is awkward. While it does get all the features, Hero has not given the Zoom a multifunction key slot and an external fuel filler, which is rather an important convenience to miss. So, in order to tank up, you have to take the key out, open the boot and then fill fuel, which is bit of an old school inconvenience. The Hero Zoom's overall ergonomic are comfortable for most of the riders. The rider will be sitting in an upright position. The floorboard is flat. There isn't a reach to the handlebar and there is ample room for you to move your feet. The 
the seat is well padded and supportive however if you are over a 5 feet 10 inch tall you will find the handlebar will fall with your knee when making a lock to lock turns this is a only small issue and it can be solved by moving your knees out of the way while turning in terms of storage space the hero zoom has you covered you get a 19.2 liters of under seat storage two deep pockets in front apron which can hold 1 liter bottles and hook to keep your grocery bag secure on the move the build quality of this scooter is good to a large extent but there is some room for improvement in certain areas things like the switch gear and mirrors could be made up of high quality feeling materials powering the zoom is a 110 cc single cylinder air cooled engine that puts out 8.15 horsepower and 8.70 newton meter of torque while hero does use this engine in its other 110 cc offerings it has been tuned specially for the zoom the scooter feels peppy enough out on the road and it's quite linear as well but it can't be described as a fast Engine refinement is a mixed bag as you do feel some mild business at lower speeds. However, as soon as you cross 50 to 60 km per hour mark, it become really smooth. Fuel efficiency is something we are at to test out. But Hero climbs The Zoom is one of the most efficient scooter in the segment as it comes with the company's i3s auto start stop system. This fuel saving tech cuts the engine off when you come to halt and start up when you press the brake lever and twist the throttle. While it is a nice inclusion This system isn't as seamless to operate as some rivals. The Zoom also impresses with its ride quality and handling setup. The scooter comes with 12 inch wheel at both ends, which provides good stability around corners. even though we did not do some serious corner carving the zoom felt predictable and secure enough around the mild bends we tackled hero says the zoom gets a new design for the frame different from its other 110 cc offerings as this one has been designed specifically for 12 inch wheels at both ends The ride is also well judged as it deals with bumps and expansion joints with relatively ease. However, it's worth noting that we rode the scooter around smooth roads, so we will have to wait and see how it deals with bumpy streets. As for the braking, The top spec ZX variant gets a disc brake up front and drum at the rear. The braking performance is good with decent feedback. The Hero Zoom does come across as a well-rounded package.
It has an attractive design, plenty of features and decent performance. Priced from Rs 68,599, the Hero Zoom range is priced on parallel with its main rival, the Honda Dio. The Zoom ZX trim cost around Rs 4,000 more than the Dio. At Rs 76,699, it is far better equipped as well. Judging by its initial impression, the Hero Zoom feels like a promising scooter. So if you are on the lookout for a sporty 110cc scooter, this one is definitely worth considering. We hope you like the video and the details provided on all new Hero Zoom. Please like, support and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching.